Make sure your face is evenly lit and your eyes are visible. This is a game about blinking. Every time you blink, the game will notice. See how this works. Those lines of text did not appear until I blinked. When you see a metronome and blink, you'll jump forward. Keep blinking. Isn't this wild? What you'll find is, even though you're no longer in your body, your body's still inside of you. Am I that dead? Is. Now you see that tower out there? Big scary one? That's where I'm taking you to see the gatekeeper. To be judged. I think I am dead. I'm gonna present <laughs> oh, no. your case. Tell her the whole story of your entire life from prow to stern. Your life. You're gonna show it to me. I want to see exactly what made you so absolutely great. I feel like that's an overstatement. Every time you blink, you're going to jump forward in time. Could okay. Be a second could be five years. That's just how this thing works. So I gotta be careful with my blinking, right, or I'm then. gonna skip my life right too first. quick. We've this is my long, life. We've got a long, beautiful day ahead of us. Why are you smiling like that? This is that time I was in Greece. Oh, the day went quickly. Mm, where's the first page of my piece? I can't find it anywhere. Did Take your time. No. Seagull has it. He stole it. Oh, I blinked. It's gone. Hey. <laughs> Look at that. Oh. There's your little hand. We have to make him do this every birthday. <laughs> That's a great idea. Every time that metronome's on the screen, I'm gonna have anxiety. Document these precious moments, Richard. Moves that deep. Make sure the camera's working okay. We don't want to lose this moment. <laughs> Richard, please. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, you want to play along with mommy, don't you? <laughs> Can I play along? I'm sure. I thought I was going to blink. <laughs> oh my god. Like, good, honey. The game's going to be over in five minutes. I like the music. That's very specific. Don't blink. I... Not even. <laughs> if the Weepman Angels come I'm for me, right? Problems of the universe. I, I'm, I'm a goner. I'm not gonna survive. Oh, that's look sure. At that. Look what I color. made. It's my boat. It's a row. Sure. <laughs> hey, we do not throw things in this house. Fuck, I was fixing my hair. I think he hoped to make it further than conducting the high school. Okay, Benny. Are you ready to see something really special? Don't blink, not even for a second. If you blink and you're dead. Richard. What? That's the cutest thing I've ever seen. Uh, yeah, what's wrong with that? We can't keep him, can we? Uh, I mean, I'm pretty much definitely allergic, so no, right? No. We'll find someone to take him. But while he's here. I really need to blink. Ah! <laughs> no. I want to hear the song. <gasps> ah! <laughs> God, she dragged me to so many places. It was wonderful. Richard, I could use a turn in the page. Oh, no, I couldn't hold on. Richard, are you hearing this? It's just the one note. I need to answer the phone. Make it to the phone. <laughs> the screen went black. Subdivide the time. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four. Don't blink. Buddy. Okay, now keep a firm grip on it. Just like you failed music school. <laughs> I'm still not understanding how you let this happen. Oh, I don't know. Just, we jumped ahead a little. It. It just, it just happened. Fuck, it, it's smart. Blue, 
<laughs> what if I don't open them? Everyone watching the stream? I hope you enjoy the game from this point in time. I tragically can no longer see. What happened? No! No! Hey you! Yeah, you! Come over here! Yes, Mr. Camera Boy, I'm talking to you. But don't blink while you approach, Mr. Camera Boy. Or you'll be sent five years into the future. Why are you always out here taking photos? You know, if you really want to take a photo of something cool, you should take a photo of this. I have to take these pictures because I'm traveling through time at an alarming rate. If I don't take these photographs, I forget everything I know! <laughs> Look on your desk. I wrote you something. What are you doing, Chloe? You're a weird neighbor, kid. We're in the same class. What a coincidence. Please keep me in mind that while we're at s please keep in mind that while we're at school, we don't know each other. This Do not e talk to me ever. Each Love, right Chloe. Now. Oh, not no. the those who cannot remember the past are condemned to repeat it. Also, those who very quickly blink and propel themselves forward in time are condemned to watch the past again because they missed the game. Chloe, tell me, what did the quote say? Um, right, I definitely know this. I wrote it down, Chloe. You were taking notes, weren't you, Chloe? Oh, yes, of course. Whisper the answer. So those who do not remember the past, repeat the past. That's right, right? Indeed it is. Definitely seen you next door, but I didn't realize you guys had become friends. <sighs> oh, sure. We sit together in history class. I don't know what I'd do without old Benny. Very sweet. Thank you for playing this game with him. My name is Benny. I didn't know that up until now. <laughs> Whoa, that's a pretty good drawing. You should draw pictures of more different stuff. Please get some more Not different stuff on the TV though. soon. I'll actually kill you. My I'll eyes die. have never felt so I'll dry, Chloe. Your backyard. Benny, why did you draw me? You're not good enough. Days until audition 30. Remember today is the first day of the rest of your life. Don't answer that, Ben. You can talk to your friend after you practice. Do I pick up? So listen, I found a construct. What are you doing? I explicitly asked you not to pick up the phone. Oh, he's fine. Go talk to her. Oh, what do you know about anything that's going on right now? Okay, you know, oh, no. I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't raise your voice like that. Well, then don't stick your nose into things that you're completely checked out of. Uh oh. Did yeah, I just I cause a fight with your parents? Yeah, Chloe, it might be a bad time. But you should also Help cherish the ocean these moments. My mom and dad used to fight, and I would always hate it. Hey, what? D no! <laughs> Dear weird Anybody neighbor kid. Hippopotamus? Tonight, after my dad goes to sleep, well, I'm going to sneak out of my house and sleep on the beach. Nah. If you want to get invited, yeah, draw see, me a picture of Mr. Isaac feeling constipated. <laughs> So I am not quite sure why I don't hear more frantic scribbling Beautiful. right now. Ew, why is he so scared looking? Fuck! <laughs> Lights out. You need to be rested for tomorrow. Memory consolidates when you're asleep. So if you I go to sleep now- I can't close my eyes, mom. <laughs> oh. Oh, I gotta sneak out. I'm a sticky for a baby. I apologize. Okay, so meet me out in the alley in T minus now. Now. <laughs> and you're probably the least popular boy in the school, but I also like him. Reliving out my childhood months. here. I really need to blink. Hang on. Fuck, get the text up. Hang on. Don't balls it up. Don't balls it up. Stargazer, stay here. I have to do my best in the audition. I 
anxiety overdrive. Oh, okay, okay. I think that's enough. Oh, it's moving a bit quick. So, Benjamin, uh, why don't we plan on? <laughs> oh no, I didn't come make back it. Next year again, once you've had a bit more time to practice. Yes. Oh no, I flunked college. You know, Maybe I pushed you too hard. Maybe I turned into my own father. Oh no, Al, don't take it out on yourself. I just can't keep my eyes open time. long enough. That's the problem. The we want him home from school for a while. Just until this nasty thing clears. Oh, there's someone at the door. Hey, Al, would you mind taking a quick walk with me down to my office? There's a small clerical thing I need you to look at before I can let you two go. Oh yes, of course. I'll be right back, Benny, okay? Just maybe five minutes, kiddo, okay? Was this a this is a real bad time to? This is a crucial time in his development. He shouldn't be confined to his room. Oh guys, no! October now. B, you hear me? What's he doing? He's trying. He's getting better at our art. It's January again. Our boat's getting real good. And Mr. Benjamin Brin has been awarded first place. I won an award! That's a damn good boat! Art school application. Questions three and two short paragraphs describe what makes you want to pursue a career in the arts. Boat. <laughs> oh. Is this guy? <laughs> Why does he get tall? What version do we want? Oh, how very wacky and fun these are. Thanks, art professor. Lucky for you, the world is always in need of more greeting card artists. There we go. It's beautiful. Oh, we're drawing in abstract shapes now. There you go, Mr. Brin. Feel each shape. What is going on? He has reached down what? deep within himself and created a masterpiece. I have? I pray you have a strong hold on yourself, Mr. Brin. Or I don't I see it. A talent like these, you may soon be swept away by a whirlwind. I'll have Picasso. Don't worry, you're not selling your soul. Oh, do I? I'm gonna make it big without you. Well, look at that. You've crumpled my contract. That's right, I'll do it again. <laughs> I'm gonna eat it in your office. Uh, whatever you want, kid. Sure. You, you won't digest me. <laughs> okay, that's it. Get out of my office. Let me throw the pen at you, too. <laughs> oh, I didn't even get to see it! <laughs> My camera froze! We're good. Wait, wait, wait. wait. So proud of you. This is nothing but a little bump in the road for me. I'm going to be fine. Okay? Oh, no. But that's enough from me. Now you'll hear from the person who I believe was the single thing in the world my wife was most proud of. Her. No. This, so to speak. Go on, B. Say something. Um. What can I do? What the What's fuck? Wrong? Why aren't you talking? Uh I don't think we can talk. Keep going. Hey you. As you know, I talk to big, very important people every day. 
And there's one thing that everybody is asking me. What's going on with Benjamin Brin? And what am I supposed to say? That I haven't heard from my star pupil in six months? Teacher, please. You are a snake. Oh, he's not You're liking this. But worst of all, Benjamin, you are a little tease. I have told the world that Benjamin Brin is a genius. Oh, I don't like I this guy anymore. Benjamin Brin is silent because... Gonna hang up on him. <laughs> Just calling to tell you. Don't want to talk to him anymore. I think I'm selling the house. Oh no, Richard. She's everywhere here, son. I can't move without bumping into her. Oh. And then I just find myself breaking down again. I hope you understand. Inspired by the music composition of his late mother, the composer L. Stevens. Relatively unknown in her life, Brynn lifted his mother's work out of obscurity with the it's creation of this piece. Your now considered to be one of the greatest composers of her time. God, I can't believe this. It's been years. Oh, well, this is I Chloe. I walked through the entire show. It's unbelievable. I'd love to walk through it again with you. I mean, if you were down for that. I'd really love to catch up. I, I can't believe everything that's happened year old. to you. I want to hear all about it. Oh. Now would you look at that? <laughs> I cannot believe my luck. Something just happened. Well, there you How did we die? Well, hello, sir. If I had realized I would have cleaned up. I'm just used to fishing up a different class of soul. <laughs> I mean, sure, I've had scientists, a couple college athletes here or there, but whew, an international renowned painter? Would you describe yourself as a, a happy kid or a lonely one? I mean, I had my friend Chloe. His childhood was a happy one, growing up in a loving home raised by loving parents in a quaint village by the sea. And how about that neighbor girl? What was she to you? Was she your best friend or your first love and be honest here, uh, my only love is for ours uh, you know when i saw the naked art teacher that me. really did it for me okay we'll go with this people are gonna crucify me but on the eve of his big audition he completely dropped the ball staying up all night with his first love is that why i didn't pass the, the audition day. Could that have gone the other way? When he was 12 years old, he got sick. And he had to stay inside for an entire year. And in that year, he rediscovered a talent he'd forgotten. Painting. If I didn't do all the art sure drawings, I wouldn't have become a painter, would I? Seagulls are getting real pissed. They're having none of it. This is me talking to my Twitch chat. I should probably tell you, those things, they're not regular gulls. They're liar birds. Oh. They're what becomes of souls who try to lie to the gatekeeper. Oh. And once they try that, they're never allowed near her city again. I get to feeling bad for not defending them right, so they just stay on with me. Living reminders of my oratory shortcomings. So if I lie, Good thing I could become a seagull I myself, I imagine. You're ashamed of something. Something so terrible, you're trying to blink right past I can't it. help it, sir. Because if the gatekeeper knew, she'd have to dream up fresh new hells to punish someone as worthless as Oh, me. no. And she'll see right through your face. Fake lies as if they were glass. I didn't lie! So I'm gonna ask you again to start from the very beginning. And this time, I want I didn't truth. lie! Is it gonna be different? Not this. Not this. This. 
Stay here. What did your mother hear on that phone call? Stay here. Gotta go a long time without blinking here. Gotta hold. Gotta hold. Oh. We're good. Hello? Yes, of course. This is Elle, his daughter. Oh. Oh, I see. She knew she hadn't yet lived up to her father's expectations. And now, she never could. This one, I accidentally blinked. Don't blink. Don't blink. Fuck! Keep your eyes open. It's actually going to be like, if I blink, we don't get the good ending. Uh, come on! <sighs> the death of those cats must have oh my you God. a terrifying lesson. That simply being alive wasn't enough. So then you went to work to make yourself sensational. Jesus. Come on. Come on. We're good. Look away and blink, is it? Try closing your eyes. Oh! <laughs> it might help you remember. All right. I mean, what's, I mean, what's the point? What do you mean? What's the point? What does that mean? What's the point of any of it? If he's never going to get any better. Okay. Let's not say that. Okay? We know we don't mean it. I know I don't. I know. I mean, what if he heard one of us saying something like that? I'd never forgive myself. I'd... It's okay. He's asleep. It's okay. I see. You got sick. You howled at the moon. Oh boy. The top of your lungs. You were sick for a long time, weren't you? Sicker than healthy kids are supposed to get? Well, no matter how painful it gets, I need you to remember. We're almost at the end of this. Yeah, we gotta keep going. I promise. Try writing with it. Typewriter. This didn't happen. Hi, Mom. Well, hello, Benny. <laughs> it was your grandfather's, but I used it in college to write lyrics. Okay. So artsy. <laughs> exactly. It was very artsy. What do I write about? Why don't you write the story of your life so far? And then what you're going to do once you get better. That's the story I want to hear. Oh no, I can... I think I can tell where this might be going. His childhood was a happy one. Growing up in a loving home. Raised by loving parents. In a quaint village. By the sea. Oh, here I am. But on the eve of his big audition, he completely dropped the ball. Staying up all night with his first love and blowing it the next day. First love? Okay, Benny. And you know, we really could have just slept on the beach another night. <laughs> But I'm also glad we didn't because, well, another night wouldn't be the same night. Like you should have called on Tuesday. Benjamin Brin was a loser. He was the worst Brin to ever live. Didn't even try to fight the disease. 
inside him. He just lay down and died. Jesus. Try closing your eyes. Okay. It might help you so remember. So if he's ever in pain, all he needs to do is press that red button, and the drug will administer itself. Thank you so much. You know, I know my wife would normally want to thank you herself. No, I understand. It hits mothers the hardest, this sort of thing. Thank you for understanding. It's been, uh, it's been a rough one. Hey, this isn't funny, you know. What, you're too scared to talk to me? Well, just so you know, I know you're faking. Because um, if you were really sick, like actually sick, you'd have told me already. No, I don't throw. I She's just in denial. I actually know about this stuff. So the fact that you are faking just so you don't have to go to school with me is actually ridiculous. I don't know if you're embarrassed about our night at the beach together so you're avoiding me or what, but... I just wanted to call to say I really don't appreciate being lied just to. Just angry and denial. And it's not that I need your help in history class, you know. That's all it is. I remember when you were just four years old. Mom was going through a pretty tough time. I mean, not as tough as now, but yeah, our music had been rejected, and she's having trouble adjusting to her quiet little life out here. And I feared that yeah, I was losing her. But then you played this on the piano. And just your little hands reaching up for the keys. She just couldn't believe how gifted you were. And once she heard that, well, it was like you brought her right back to me. Hey, Al, how you doing? Keep playing, B. She's listening. Oh, fuck! Oh. The cat. Richard, we have to give Ernie a haircut, okay? It's the same cat, yeah. Sashimi plate. What? It's okay. What? I think she more than deserves it. She didn't even care to visit? No, I mean, I don't think he's told her. And you're just letting that be? I don't know her step. You know how Benny is. She lost her mother a year ago. You knew that, right? No, but what does that have to do with... Okay, do we have her dad's number? I don't know. Check the book. Okay, I'm calling now. Honey... You do realize this is really nothing special to me. I've seen this all before. I, um, I was thinking about what you said in the story the other day and how I reacted to it. I feel kind of bad. I shouldn't have done that, but. I'm gonna spell it stay hey. here again. What are you looking at? Don't look up there. Look at me. Hello. I I'm see you. I'm talking ya. to you. I see you. I want to give you something. But I think I don't want to be in the room when you see what it is. So maybe if you close your eyes, I can give it to you and I'm going to leave. Close your eyes now, okay? Okay. Dear weird neighbor kid, you are my first. <laughs> it, it's okay, Benny. I understand. There's no need to show me anymore. No, Richard. It's like I can't breathe. 
like there's this clamp on my chest. I know. It's okay. You can come back to me now. You have to do something. Richard, I can't breathe. I feel like I can't breathe. It's okay, Benny. Just close your eyes. I realized as well in the beginning the foreshadowing of the seagull taking um, the piece of paper that your mum was working with. There she is. Because it's a representative start of a lie. Cat. Gatekeeper, before you sits the soul of a child who died before he could grow old. That means she's ready to hear your story. I wanted to read you something I wrote for you, which is about the Benny I've known for 11 years now. It's called The Great Life of Benjamin Brin. <clears throat> Benjamin Brin was born into an ordinary home to an, or an ordinary mother Fuck. and father in a small town by the sea. We're good. His mother He's was a composer, it. or at least that's what she dreamed she'd be. So, when her own dreams didn't pan out, she began to dream for him. But then, when he was just 11 years old, he got sick and was forced to stay inside for an entire year. And in that year, he began to worry that he hadn't looked enough. So he made up a story of the great life he them. thought he wanted to live which only made him forget the great life he already had. How he had filled a new home with light and joy and promise. How he met a girl. Oh, his neighbor, who felt all alone in the world, and he made her feel okay again. And how, even when he was sick, he still gave his friends hope. How he reminded them exactly who they were, after they had almost forgotten. So when he knew he was going to go, he was okay. Because he'd already lived a great life. A full life. And he was everything he needed to be. Jesus. Just as he was. What do you think, Mr. Cat? Close your eyes now. And keep them closed. <laughs> She's gonna let you in. Go on. Oh, not becoming a seagull. You know what to do. the cat and you close your eyes why is he smiling like that he must be somewhere that he likes so sad how you doing chat you're good that was so sad and it really, like, I feel like genuinely guilty the times that like I couldn't help but blink and like a moment passed. Like the additional part of the letter after like Chloe confesses to you, I genuinely felt horrible. Why are you not crying? It takes a lot to get me crying. You gotta kick me real hard. 